Good morning, this is Pastor John, and the title of my sermon is One Year and Going Strong. Thank you for all the love and support. Um, today, we celebrate one year of our ministry, Sackcloth and Ashes, which we officially launched one year ago and uh, started becoming an official ministry. Um, I, myself, and Paula have been in ministry for quite a while. Um, me on the internet, her here, her actually uh, writing and uh, starting having her own uh, page uh, a while ago. And um, both of us have always been called to ministry, to preaching the word of the God, to preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And um, it's a passion within us. It's something that we've, we've been driven to do with our life. It's something that the Holy Spirit has compelled us to do. Um, since I've started this ministry a year ago, we've had uh, 28 different people support us. Um, some have made a one-time donation. Uh, some have unfriended me and fallen away. Um, but uh, this month, um, we had eight people contribute to us and um, some of them have been with us since the beginning. Some of them um, are uh, new within the last few months. Um, we just thank God and praise Jesus and all glory and honor goes to him. Um, I'm just asking you to check out our ministry. Um, you know, check out what we have to say. Uh, we are in the end times here. I truly feel this, Paula and I. And... Um, it is so imperative that we get the true gospel out. When I first started preaching on the internet like seven years ago, I spoke a lot about love. Um, Jesus is love. God is love. I've been called in uh, my heart over the last few years to concentrate more on the return of Jesus Christ and how close it is and uh, everything that's going on out there. Um, you have to be living underneath a uh, shell to not know what's going on out there. Um, um, strife, division, uh, riots, um, evil, um, government shutdowns, um, trying to lock us in our houses, trying to take away any freedoms we have left. Um, anyone who knows anything about the Bible knows that we are in the last days. Uh, the book of Revelation explains this. And I feel more and more that it is our calling here in the Sackcloth and Ashes Ministries to bring that true message that Jesus Christ is returning soon. Um, part of our ministry has been launched on YouTube, too, and uh, I made my first video on January 25th. Um, and it's just a way of me wanting to reach more people, uh, you know, going to the YouTube uh, when I first started, you know, Paula basically handled the whole thing. I'm not too computer orientated. And uh, I just said, you know, I have things to say. Um, perhaps I can reach a bigger audience. Let's try this avenue. And um, though it hasn't grown as much as we've wanted it to as far as subscribers, I feel that people are watching the videos and um if any of you would love to subscribe to it, you know, and check it out, I got all my videos up there, you know, uh, you can pull up different subjects and um, just see what the Lord is sharing with me that I want to share with you. And tell your friends, too, you, you tell your unsaved loved ones, um, you know, hey, this guy, you know, maybe you should check him out, check out what he has to say, uh, check out their ministry page on uh, Facebook. Um, you know, maybe something will, you know, touch their heart enough that they'll turn to the Lord and um, find uh, repentance, find forgiveness, find the answers to life. Because we are so close to the end, you know, um, take away, you know, the thing that Jesus Christ could return any day. And um, just think about everything that's going out there. You hear about these riots and, uh, and all of this stuff. Our life is as a vapor. Um, any moment we could be taken out. Um, so just think on that, you know. Think on that. Think on that for yourselves and think on that for your friends and loved ones. Um, 
like I said, um, you know, we've had 28 different people uh, support our ministry. And um, like I said, we have had um, eight people this month. And um, I just want to give praise to the Lord Jesus and thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Um, we actually have a few people who contributed to us who have passed on this year and uh, they're in glory now. And um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you that uh, they thought enough of us in their waning days to want to help support us and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ into all the nations. Um, like I said, when I first started this uh, ministry, I was heavily into the love of Jesus and um, that sacrificial giving that he gave to us. And um, it's still so precious to my heart. Yeah, as a matter of fact, um, one of our regular uh, supporters um, has been very concerned about my health and uh, what I've been going through and uh, concerned that we're not taking uh, care of ourselves and uh, things that are going on. And um, she messaged me last night. Um, I don't want to bring up her name, you know, um, She's a rather a shy lady, and uh, I just want to give her a shout out and um, let her know that we love her and we love everybody who comes to us and uh, wants to help. Um, she's going to send something extra to help me out with something that we're going through, and uh, God bless her. God bless you all. Uh, I want to share uh, something in a teaching, going back to my roots, going back to um, the love of Jesus Christ and the love of people who um, support our ministry. And uh, it's uh, from 1 Corinthians 13. A lot of people call it the love chapter. And uh, it's something I've read a thousand times probably in my life. And uh, I've uh, drawn strength and encouragement from it. It's uh, the words of Paul, a uh, man who was uh, thought by many very uh, cold and calculating and, um, you know, just all ministry, all ministry. Well, this man had great love and compassion uh, for the world. He didn't want to see anybody go to hell. He had fire within him and uh, he preached like no other. And... Um, we need more of that today. Um, it's chapter 13 in my Bible, it says the way of love. Now, um, when we go through this, um, he calls it um, charity. But we tend to take the word charity and put love. So anytime you hear the word charity, I'm reading from the uh, King James Version, which I love and feel that this is the only true Bible. Just put the word love in there. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and he have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all the mysteries and all the knowledges, and though I have all the faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profit me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself and is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemingly. Seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For all we know in part and prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away with. 
When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away foolish things and childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know even also as I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, and charity, these three. But the greatest of these is charity, is love. Amen. The word of the Lord, something I treasure and uh, something I try to base my life on. Um, I know sometimes I come across as, uh, you know, being hard or being harsh because I'm always preaching. You must repent. You must turn to Jesus Christ. And uh, I know how close we are here to the end, to the end of all things. And um, sometimes I grow impatient with people. And uh, for that, I ask forgiveness. Um, it's just that I love you so much and I don't want to see anybody go to hell. Um, there's so much evil out in this world. And when I see the evil attacking those I love or attacking my friends, it just um, cuts deep into my heart, into my soul. Um, this is one of the reasons we wanted to start this ministry. We uh, wanted to grow strong. We want to give you the true gospel, the true words of Jesus Christ, and the true meaning of what it means to be born again and seek out the kingdom of God with all of his righteousness and um, not be led astray by charlatans and false prophets and false teachers of today uh, who come to you dressed in sheep's clothing, but inside they are ravening wolves. The tree, as Jesus said, shall be known by its fruit. So um, just check it out and uh, thank you again. Thank you again for your love, for your support of our ministry. This is something that I wanted, I felt being a one year anniversary, something I wanted to share more with you and just, you know, come to you and thank you from Paula and I from the bottom of our hearts. And I want to thank those dear hearts who are um, doing without for the gospel, who are truly sacrificing. And um, believe me, you are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and none of this goes unknown by our Father in Heaven. None of this goes unknown. And um, like I told this lady last night, <laughs> you are blessed. And um, when you go to your reward, um, Jesus Christ will greet you and say, Well done, thou faithful and good servant. Enter into thy rest. And I told her, and I tell all of you who are part of our ministry, when we get to heaven, I may not see you here, but when we get to heaven, I'll be seeking you out. And I'll greet you with a holy kiss and a holy hug and um, just say, we made it. We made it. Everything that we went through in this life, we got through, we made it. And um, we're home forever in the peace of the Lord, the peace of the Lord, the peace of God will be with us. The lion will lie down with the lamb. There'll be no more killing or hurt. And the wisdom of God will truly fill the land as waters fill the sea. This is what I'm living for. And I hope it's what you're living for. Thank you again very much from Paul and I. Uh, till next time, this is Pastor John checking out saying, peace, love, and joy he gave to me. Peace, love, and joy I leave for you. Check you out later.